evening, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh, and I wanted to review the SPY. I'm, I'm in some SPY options, and they're actually up and down because <clears throat> I took them at the end of last year, and then the market fell since January. But I will tell you that the market is still in an uptrend, is going to hold, and it actually made it to the target today in the after hours. So I looked at the market this morning, saw the gap up. We closed 189.11. And we opened at 192. So it was a dollar gap up. But it was it was enough. Meaning, let me just show you something here. If we were gonna fall, all of this would have just fallen again off a cliff. And what I didn't want to see, and is not gonna happen. Look at that bar. I guess you could have bought the market today. Anyways, what I didn't want to happen was I didn't want to go down and retest this because we've already retested it. And we held. So the anomaly day held and the stock switch got bought, but I did not want to go back down there again because you know what? If we did, we would have broken it. That would not have been good. And Amazon reported last night and gapped down. I knew it would rally. I knew it would hold. So that rally today, Google rally today, Microsoft rally today in earnings from last night. Facebook had a huge day and the market had a huge day. So all of these things went together beautifully. And the the target for the market today in the SPY was 194. I said that this morning to my broker. I said 194. We we didn't get there till the after hours. We kind of ran out of day. The actual here. This is the close. 193.75. But in the after hours, we're running up. So the market's getting bought. This is institutional money. Look at the volume. See the V, the third one down in the square in the top left hand side. That's well, you can see it here. There you go. <laughs> look look at that. Now, I just want to put something out that I've talked about and talked about and talked about in the room. First of all, the market has always held the uptrend. Second of all, I always knew that it would. People shorted this lower high. They got stopped out today. People shorted this. They're going to get stopped out on Monday. I don't know where we gap on Monday morning. You never know. <laughs> but I will tell you that we have... More than 50% retraced the fall, had a great close for the month of January, even though we started the year on, on, on not a good foot. We opened at 200. Do you see this here? Look at this. We're six points off from where we were in the open of the year. And at one point, we were down at 181. We've rallied. This is amazing, people. This is what I'm talking about, about institutional money. Does anyone understand what I'm saying? This rallied 14 points. 13 points more, whatever, from the low in here. Hey, my God, I love it. So this has, I said 75%. And in the room every day, I said, you know what? By the end of the month, by the end of the month, by the end of the month, it's going to be very clear we're back up and up an uptrend. I said that last week. I said in the, by the end of the month of January, and we will more than a 50% retrace. That's exactly what we did. This is a huge retracement, people. Some people will think they're going to short the next rally into this area. Whatever. Even if we do that, we'll fake. This is real, people. Do you see this? That is institutional buying. We also have 100% retrace this sell-off bar, which, which actually is not something to just completely ignore. I mean, this actually was a huge, huge red bar in the day. The market gapped up in the day, failed to gap up and rally, okay, which, which it could have failed, broke the support, and dropped off a cliff right after that. So this we've retraced that today. This this is it. We're done. Boom. I mean, we could probably gap up big time here. We could, oh my goodness, we're, if we, uh, if we gap up on Monday big time, Amazon will gap up big, Microsoft will gap up big, Google will gap up big, and I am still in the Google options. I did be, this is, going to be a crazy week next week too. We'll have to see what happens. Have a great weekend, everyone. And I added another Golden Gap class for next weekend. We're going to do it Saturday and Monday though with live trading on February 6th and then February 8th. So it'll be Saturday and Monday, which will be interesting because we'll have live trading on the following Monday. If you want to learn my method and take the class, it's going to be a very, very good week though. And it's going to be a very, very good month. Email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com if you want to pre-register for the next class. The classes are getting full up. I'm only one person. I cannot talk for 20 hours a day. So I have to limit the amount of people in the classes so that I can get through everyone's questions. And I want to give everyone attention. 
but you've got to sign up ahead of time if you want to do the class next weekend. The sooner the better to get your spot secure. It is going to be a very good week this coming week. February is going to start out very good for the Sox Whoosh and very good for the market. Have a great, great night, everyone. If you're interested in more information, email me at melissa at thesockswish.com.